All right, Andy Volpe back again for, um, I guess, the last installment of the drawing books, at least of the 11 by 14 series. Uh, 400, Strathmore 400 series paper is really, really, really good paper. I've always liked it. Um, and it's local, too. used to be made in Westfield, Massachusetts, where I went to college. So uh, it was kind of like a double whammy. Uh, this one I wrote down as 2000, 2001. Neighbor's house, one of the one of the places I used to live, did a house portrait for them on a larger sheet of paper. Um, if you remember one of the sketchbook tours, I was doing some initial ideas for illustrations for Higgins Armory Museum for the Roman Legionary program that I, I developed and still give. And um, I think I was comparing that to much earlier uh, ancient Greek um, hoplite arms and armor. Um, that never really got anywhere, unfortunately. More Wingmasters, um, again at Higgins Army Museum. Drawing crowds like crazy. Great Grey Owl in Flight uh, ended up becoming a drawing for a Massachusetts Audubon silent auction. Alright, there we go. So I did a very short run of artist proofs. So few, in fact, I, I, I forgot to take down how many. So I, I don't have many of these left. Um, and of course, the person who won the auction and the, got the original. Uh, one of the other sketchbook tours you might have remembered, um, my high school friend Aaron Thorne, who is who's an author, um, I took this out of one of my other sketchbooks, and this is an illustration I was working, working on. Jarred Expectations, that's the title. I've been trying to remember that. More Wingmasters. Rhode Island uh, Audubon Society in Bristol, Rhode Island is fantastic. You should go check them out. Attempt at a Kestrel, I think, uh, from a live presentation. My uh, friend who is no longer in Raptor Education, um, but at the time he did a program at the Egotarium. Another one of Wayne Masters at Higgins Army Museum. Uh, Julie at the time had those um, plush bird dolls um, that you squeeze them and they and they make their sound. So there was a cardinal sitting on top of one of the um, the uh, one of the travel boxes, and I thought that was pretty pretty funny. Birders have a weird sense of humor, so if you're not prepared for it, you, know, you might be in for a shock. some of the stuff I'm not remembering. Yeah. Um, this is at Mystic Seaport. This is the Charles W. Morgan just before they took it in for um, a massive restoration um, that took them a couple of years I think. Uh, Tom Riccardi is another rehabber. He was one of the people instrumental in the Bald Eagle reintroduction program, breeding, breeding and reintroduction program. He, uh, according to my note here, he did a program at Wachusett Mountain. So he had a vulture with him who was, um, I'm kind of remembering now a little bit, he was kind of a character. Um, the barn owl was really curious about stuff, really kind of, I don't even know if curious is the right word. He was moving his head around in really weird ways. He was probably more anxious um, than anything. Um, once you start to learn bird behavior, and especially like owl and hawk behavior, and what they're telling you without saying anything, um, you start to realize that some of these programs, or at least some of the birds in these programs, are not really doing all that well. But that's that's a rant and a rave probably for another day. Uh, Larry Keating and his birds at the time. The note says, this is the Blackstone Valley Celtic Festival, maybe? But he did a program there once. Higgins Armory had a, uh, Higgins Army Museum had a a booth at one of the Celtic fairs. Uh, Trailside Museum in Milton, Massachusetts had Julie Collier with Wingmasters and Larry Keating and his birds. Um, Norm Smith and the Trailside Museum people had some of their birds, including their raven, which I wouldn't be surprised. So, yep, there he is. Uh, he was quite a character, of course. If you know ravens, you know ravens. I don't think I really need to go into into that too much. 
uh, just more live, live bird sketches. And there is the end of that book. So like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you want to see, and uh, we'll go from there.